I think our guys are really excited to be home. Yeah, last week was a challenging week, an interesting week, and one where we played a lot of different games. And to come out of it 2-1, and one, especially with the start we had at Michigan, I think was, was strong for us overall. And uh, we learned a lot about ourselves last week. I, I think we really did. We learned what we're capable of. We learned what kind of toughness you have to have and, and, and how you have to be resilient uh, when you're not as tough or when you're not as aggressive or when you're not on the attack like y'all one night. You've got to turn back around and understand that you're fully capable of it. And I think that's what our guys did at Purdue. And, and, and uh, we, we knew we were going to have to be uh, – uh, there was very little margin for error when you when you go into a place like Purdue and and uh, uh, What errors you make you've got to be able to make up for in your hustle You got to be able to make up for in your aggressiveness You've got to be able to make up for in your confidence that you just keep playing and and I thought our guys did that So now as we get ready for Illinois, it's much the same situation We're going to be playing against a team that is that is hungry. We're going to be playing against a team that has won big games that has been ranked throughout the season that knows how to win on the road and uh, has got, uh, they're, they're extremely well coached. I think they're one of the uh, better coaching staffs in the country. I really do. I think the Big Ten is full of good coaches, but I think the Illinois staff is one of the best in the country, and I think they've proven that over a period of time with how they've played year after year, and, and, and it's a tough league, and, and uh, they're capable uh, of winning anytime, anywhere, and that's exactly how we're preparing for this game. We know it's a big game in the sense that it's a big game for our fans in the sense of rivalry. Uh, we know that, uh, that we had a big win against them last year. We also know that we got uh, smacked around pretty good when we went up to Illinois at last year. And uh, they really showed no mercy in that game. And, and, and we, did not, we did not match their aggressiveness. We did not match their intensity. And uh, we paid for it. So it, we, we had a couple, we've had some really interesting games with them over a period of time. But we know this one is one that'll be an incredible challenge because, because uh, they understand what's at stake, and they've got some guys that have been through it. They know what it's like to play big games in the month of February and March, and we've got to continue to learn what, to understand what that means. So with that being said, we're looking forward to a phenomenal crowd. Uh, it's not only a whiteout, but I hope it's a loud out. I hope it's just, it's just, it's just, just numbing uh, for how, how loud it is inside of the building and just breaks that decibel level again like we have a couple times this year. So that's what we're excited about, and, and we've had a good week of practice, and, and we're ready to play. Oh, I think very good. I, I think very good. I think they responded uh, every time. I think we learned a lot in, in uh, the month of January. I don't think there's any question about that. I think, I think you, you learn how hard it is to keep your edge. And, how, and how, how you have to work at it. And, and when you haven't had a lot of success over a period of time, it's sometimes very easy to lose sight of why you're having it. It's, it's easy to, to rationalize that it might be something else other than just pure hard work, pure hustle, pure execution. Uh, those are the things that, that it comes down to. And, and teams that win uh, over long periods of time, they get that. And, and every time a team gets away from that, and it happens all across the country, in any league, and, and really in any sport, and when that happens, that, that, that's, it, it, the letdowns are, are hard to overcome, especially in this league. So I think our guys have, have gained confidence. I think they've gained stature. I think they've gained um, understanding. But, but that's only as good as the next day. And, and that's what they have to continue to understand. There's nothing about the past day, even though we've won 18 games 18 different ways, there's nothing that guarantees you anything but even more hard work the next day. And, and, and I think that's what our guys are hopefully learning. Well, counsel went to the room last night uh, with the Illini fans. What, what, what kind of problem does he have? Well, I think they've got, they've got a very talented team. And, and uh, uh, they've, they're explosive. They've got tremendous guard play. I mean, right off the bat, they've got the leading score in the league. Uh, the guy that makes more threes a game than anybody else in Brandon Paul. They've got a guy that went from averaging 2-1 and one a year ago to 13-9. and nine and gets all kinds of attention, and Myers Leonard. They've got Joseph Bertrand, who, who has bided his time in that program and is now one of the mainstays in their program. They've got Tracy Abrams, who's a freshman point guard, who's uh, started all these games in the league and doesn't play like a freshman. They've got D.J. Richardson, who's one of the more underrated guards uh, in our league and, and, and uh, maybe in a lot of leagues because of how good he is and how quick he is with the ball and how good a three-point shooter 
he is. So they're a very, very talented team. Sam Maniscalco is a guy that, that has made big shots his entire career. He's, he's uh, a guy that has been a volume free throw shooter. He's a guy that, that is a tremendous three-point shooter when he was at Bradley. He's a guy they have on the court for them at the end of games and, and when it's winning time. So they're a deep team. Henry is a tremendous athlete who can shoot the ball, who can get to the basket. Uh, Tyler Griffey, I've always felt, is, 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 is a very underrated player in this league. And so they're, there's, they're, they're a very good team, and there's, there's balance there. There's inside, outside. Uh, they can run. They can score in the half court. Uh, they're, they're one of the better teams in this league. And then I, think, I think when you have a lot, of guy, a lot of teams that are right there together, sometimes it's easy to forget that. But they're, they're a very good team. They're one of two people that have beaten Ohio State in this league, and, and they had a guy get 43 in that game. So we, we know what we're up against.